And now I would like to introduce uh, somebody very special to the Healing Hearts Foundation. Uh, somebody who I've gotten to watch grow up over the last five years. She's quite a poet as well, a beautiful writer, a beautiful person. Michelle got married this year to Patrick, but would you please give a hearty welcome to Michelle Resiniti. Testing, okay. I gotta help my daughter. All right, Michelle. First off, I'd like, like to thank you all for coming here, for supporting us, and for always remembering my brother Bobby, and for all of our angels who have gone too soon. Dad. No. Hold on. Which one? Okay. Good. Okay. Can I leave now? Sure. Good. Okay. Would Anthony Ferrigia and Elizabeth Pignatello join us on stage, please? Anthony is the best friend of Joseph and will be accepting this portrait on behalf of his mom and dad. Joseph Vincent Pignatello was born on April 26, 1985, and became one of our newest angels on February 12th of this year. He is the youngest son of the of Joseph Pignatello Sr. and Connie Pignatello, brother to Vincent and had three sisters, Dion, Judy, and Betsy. Joe was a dental giant, standing six feet ancient, eight inches tall. In his short life of only 26 years, his accomplishments surpassed those of anyone who lives a full and long life. He had his MBA in New Venture Management from the University of Nevada in Los, An Las Vegas a BA in finance mergers and acquisition. He had a C6 and 24. He was just beginning to start JNC Global Securities, his own brokerage firm based right here in Coral Springs. He was director of information technologies at Union Dental Holdings, also in Coral Springs. He was such a rising star in the business world that I am convinced he's already met Steve Jobs in heaven and they have a business venture in the works. Recently asked to assist in coaching basketball at American Heritage School in Delray, Joe became such an inspiration to the kids that he was made permanent assistant coach. That was Joe, also volunteering to help others and never waiting, wanting anything in return. Joe was always the most charismatic guy in the room with his charm, his wit, and his wisdom that always left people mesmerized. His best friend, Anthony, Ferrugia is getting married next Saturday. Joe would have been attending as a groomsman, but unfortunately he passed away the night that Anthony intended on asking him. Joe, don't worry. You will be there next Saturday. Your light will always shine down upon us, and your memory will always live on. Rest in peace, Joe. Accepting this portrait will be Joe's sister Elizabeth Pignatello and his brother Anthony Ferrugia. Now I would like to introduce my little brother after this. Nick Rasniti, come on. 